All right, guys, so you should have already built your robot, and so now we're going to start getting into how to program it. So before I get too far in, once we have this program up, this is our LEGO Mindstorms program. I want to just turn the sound off because otherwise we're going to keep getting these uh, little sound clips here. So I'm just going to come over here and click on that so that we get rid of the sound, and you can actually hear me as we begin to talk. So number of things just to point out on this first kind of uh, view here. You've got just some getting started videos down here. Um, your teacher should have already gone over some of these things with you. Um, a little bit of an overview and content editor here then as well. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of get into how this works. So what we want to do is we want to just come over here to this plus sign where it says add project. And we're going to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to bring us into this space that we can begin to program. Now, we did that unplugged activity where you were doing some graph paper uh, programming and you were putting down, you know, uh, move forward, draw a line, etc. The reason for that is it begins to look very similar to what we want to begin to do on here with our robot. So, you'll begin to see some correlations and hopefully that will make sense as to why we spent some time working on that. Initially though, what you'll see as we get started here, this is our start button. So this is basically everything's going to connect off of this point. And as we go through, we want to just begin to add things onto here. And it begins to look very similar to that um, graph paper programming. So the, the first thing you'll see down at the bottom, we've got a number of different tabs. It starts off on this green tab, which is called our action tab, and underneath each of these, we've got a number of different things that we can use. We've got the medium motor, we've got the large motor, we've got move steering, the move tank, display, sound, and the brick status light. So, uh, just for instance, one of the uh, ways that we use this then is if we were to take like this move steering, and we click and drag this, so we drag it up, these pieces are going to kind of connect or snap together. And then this shows that we now are going to be able to move our motors. So kind of the first thing to always take a look at up here, you see that it says B and C. Now you'll see also that when I hover over it, it says ports B and C. And what that tells us is that this is going to uh, affect the motors that are plugged into ports B and C. So, we always want to check our robot to make sure we have the same ports plugged into B and C as is in our program. If they're different, it's not going to work. So, we'll always check that. If you try something you're like, I know I have it programmed right, why isn't it working? Check that. Make sure that you've got it actually going into the right one and it's uh, sending the program to the right spot. Okay? All right, so from here then, we've got a number of things that we can look at. So we've got this one that says like on for rotations, and we can either just have it off, we can just have it on. On means that it's just going to continue to go for an unlimited amount of time. We can set it to move for a number of seconds, for a number of degrees. Now degrees means how many like rotations around. Remember that there's 360 degrees in a circle, so for it to do one full circle, you would need to have it do 360 degrees. And we also have on for number of rotations, which we can, um, I'll leave at this point just as that. You'll see here, this is the symbol we have here. So over here then, I see that right now it's set to move for one rotation. Also on this one, this is our steering. Right now it's going up, which is forward. If I was to click on it, I can make it kind of go to the side and it's going to basically kind of turn to the left kind of do like a circle or I can drag it the other way and make it go to the right or a circle that in that direction I can also this is the power so 75 is usually a pretty good power rating to stay at and I can have it do that and then this one is um, what's going to happen once the program has finished do I want it to run through and go through one full rotation and then break and basically stop right at that point, which makes it so it stays exactly at one rotation? Or do I want it to just kind of coast? So there will be some momentum behind it. Do I want it to just keep coasting after that? So that's really the basics as far as each of these things go. Is what we want to do is kind of look through each of these 
and do that. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to just make this drive and we'll make it just drive. Let's make it go just five rotations. So we're going to just put a five in here and we can kind of click off of it. And then I'm going to take the cord and I'm going to plug it in to my robot. So on my robot, there's a spot that says PC. I'm going to plug that cord in and I'm going to plug the other USB end into my computer. Okay, so I've got my cord. This is my long cord. And I can you can see it's got this end on it. And what I want to do is I'm going to plug it into my USB port and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to plug this end into my robot over here where it says PC. So I'm going to plug that in. Got it plugged in. And then on my, you'll see then that it turns that red. Once I've plugged it in, you'll see that it now becomes kind of active. It kind of makes this uh, red and it, um, it says EB3 brick connected. I then have the option here to hit download, to hit download and run, or just run selected. What I want to do initially, I want to just download this. That's going to allow me to then choose when I want it to run so that if it's on my desk, it doesn't just drive right off the edge of my desk. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and download it. You'll hear that noise when it's done downloading. And what we can do then is unplug it, and we'll take a look at the robot and how to actually begin to make it go. Okay, so I just unplugged it, and I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the display screen. On my display screen, I've got, I have a few programs loaded on mine because I've been using it. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and hit the right arrow on my robot so that I get to the one that looks like two pieces of paper. Now on mine, um, it's just called Project, and I probably should have renamed it, but it's called Project. So I'm going to open up that folder, and then the first one there is called Program, which is what on my screen... You can see I've got project and program. That was the one that just moved it five rotations. So that's the one that I want to run. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to put it on the ground. Make sure I've got plenty of space. And once it's on program, I'm going to go ahead and hit this middle button. There it goes. Makes it go five rotations.